They're saved. Their, their, their life has been redeemed, but there seems to be no difference in their life. They, they're not acting different. Their attitude's not different. Their character is not different. And, and so they're saved, but it doesn't seem to be any difference. And you ever feel that way? Man, I know I have. I, I, I've felt that way. I mean, I, it's like, man, where do you live? I, I'm in the wilderness of sin. Where do you live? I, I'm, I'm, on wilderness, I'm on sin avenue, right? And I've tried to move, but I, I just keep pulling my car back in that same driveway. And I don't know what's going on, and I hate it, right? And you see, that's what happens. That's why this message is so real and so important and so encouraging, I hope, because many people still struggle with the same sins they were struggling with before Christ, and it creates this tension within us. Is number one, are we really saved? Number two, what's going on? And I hate it, and I hope you hate it. I hope you hate it because you need to be at war with sin because to be at peace with sin is to be at war with God. And so, so man, sometimes, though, you begin to think, if I'm saved, why do I keep doing this? 